Hello, networkers, and welcome back to another episode of Ask a Network Engineer, where I will answer one of your questions. First off, I want to apologize for not releasing an episode in the last last month. I was out sick for um, several weeks, uh, which impacted my voice. So I have been very, I've been unable to do a lot of talking for consulting projects that has been going on, training projects that we're trying to get wrapped up and release for uh, for June and episodes for you guys. So I apologize for not releasing anything sooner, but I'm doing a little better now and the show must go on. So let's get on to the question or one of the questions that you guys have asked. Okay, so let's keep things simple. And one of the, I received many, many questions when we were doing our segment of applying for jobs. It was a, a six part um, episode, which had a lot of different moving parts. And you guys asked a lot of great questions. And one of them, which is a really good question, is by Carlos Maddie, And he asks, can you list the job titles that someone should be looking for with no experience in the network field? That's a great question. And I have um, provided some, some screenshots or some presentation slides to kind of show you some of the job titles that you should be looking for in the networking field for starting out and what you will eventually want to get into. When you're starting out, these are some of the job titles that you should be looking for when you're getting to the networking field. And let's go through some of these. So the first one is one of the most common ones. It's one of the um, titles or the job positions that I had when I was starting out. And the first one is with the Network Operations Center or a NOC engineer or a NOC technician. It all depends on the job titles, but really you want to look for one of those type of job titles. And this is really like a technical support person that does a lot of networking responsibilities, like logging on to routers or customer routers to do various simple tasks. This doesn't mean like you're logging on to the backbone routers and you're making those kind of changes. But you got to start somewhere and the knock working in the network operations center doing technical support and you're troubleshooting very basic router issues, um, switching issues, you know, doing trace routes. That is a very big part of that. Another job title is being a network technician, and that can be very similar to a network field technician. And you also have a network support specialist or a network support technician or a network support engineer. More or less, they really do the same thing. So you want to kind of search for those kind of combinations. But when you are a network technician or a field tech, for example, that deals more with um, being on site and doing customer deployments. But it's different than what you would actually think it would be. So usually what happens is, is that when you work in a company, you may have a new ISP and the service provider will bring out their technician on site. Now, depending on your particular service, you may have a managed router that the ISP will put into place. So your equipment will plug into their managed router and their managed router will connect into the actual, into their infrastructure. Well, it is actually the network technician or the field tech, which is the person that is going on site with the equipment and they're doing very basic configuration. They're configuring the IP address on the interface. Um, they're plugging it into the actual network. They're working with you to make sure that you can, that everything is talking appropriately. But really the network technician is calling back to headquarters, so to speak, and they're talking to the actual network engineer or the senior network engineer, which will be logging into that router remotely to make other changes. The advanced type of configuration, maybe with MPLS or VRF, BGP, these things happen all the time. Um, I have done that a lot of times that I have uh, basically had technicians go out there um, on site with the equipment, they plug it in, they configure basic IP addressing, default gateways. 
then they call me and I log in to take care of the other advanced configuration. That is what the network technician does a lot of. And that's great for starting out because you're getting exposure to doing actual deployments, doing network configuration and troubleshooting, that sort of thing. Okay. And when it comes to being a network support specialist or engineer or technician, that can be a combination of what a NOC engineer or what a NOC technician does. You're doing technical support, but your technical support has a lot of networking type um, responsibilities that you're logging on to routers and looking at the logs, the interfaces, you're looking at if there's any errors on the interfaces. Those are really good type of things for starting out. And the more you do with that, you will get more responsibilities and that will lead you to the next set of type of jobs that you can actually apply for. But when you're starting out, these are some of the job titles that you want to really look for because this gives you very good exposure. With that exposure of being a knock engineer, technician, a field tech, or a network support specialist, among others, these are the next type of job titles that you should be looking for. And one of the first things should be being a network engineer, looking for those type of jobs. Then from there, then you can look at jobs of being a senior network engineer, which comes a year or two later. And there's other titles beyond that, being a network architect or a network design engineer, and maybe potentially a cloud network architect or a cloud network engineer. These are really just fancy titles because different companies will have different titles, but really these are the network or the senior networking type of positions that really exist. When you are a network engineer or a senior network engineer, these are the ones that are really doing the actual deployments, the configuration of BGP, MPLS, of VoIP, um, QoS, multicast. These are what those titles actually do. When you are a network architect or a network design engineer or a network principal, um, those deals with more of the design, like designing an actual network that you would give to the senior network engineer and their team to actually deploy. But being a network architect is really more common for very, very large environments. Senior network engineers, they typically do deployments, but they also do a lot of architecture. So that's something to keep in mind that if you are a senior that you if you are a senior network engineer, that does not mean that you're doing zero um, design. That is not true. Um, you are doing a lot of architecture work, also with uh, troubleshooting and with configuration. Um, so again, it, it all depends on what the job responsibilities are, but these are the next set of job titles that you should be really looking for when you are advancing in your networking career. Okay, so with everything that I just talked about, let me share with you my job titles that I been through for the past 15 years to see what I did. So the very first thing that I did in the IT field, which is true for probably 99% of you, you got to start somewhere and you start off as a desktop technician. And that's what I did. I worked on building computers, you know, changing hard drives, memory. Um, back then we put in modem cards so people can dial into the internet. That's what we had back then. Uh, there was no such thing as broadband. You know, you dialed into the network if you if you want Internet access. Um, so I was a desktop technician working with uh, Windows 95 and Windows 311. That was something that I worked on. And um, I loved Windows 95. I did not like Windows 311. It was a very awkward, very hard to troubleshoot and especially moving data um, between different computers. Very, very not fun. But that was basically my very first job title. Then from there, I eventually became a system administrator, um, mostly with Microsoft and Novell. So I worked with, um, with the Microsoft NT server uh, 4.0, if I, if I recall, and also with um, Novell, Novell server 4.0. Actually, I was a big fan of Novell. It was very, very stable. But basically with Microsoft after, uh, basically with Active Directory being introduced, everything changed. 
But anyhow, I did a lot of server administration, you know, probably for about less than a year is, is my exposure to that. And that was the first indication that I did not want to be a system administrator. I mean, these servers, they went down all the time. You know, we kept rebooting them and we kept troubleshooting this. And I kept thinking, this is not fun. It's not very reliable. And that was kind of one of the areas where I wanted to do, do something different. Well, that got to what my next job title would be. And that is being a network technical support or a NOC engineer. This was where I actually gained my, my beginning of networking experience where I was in a knock. I was on a particular um, shift, you know, every day I had the night shift, I think. And yeah, I get calls about going to customers cages and doing basic networking stuff, configuring ACL sometimes, configuring interfaces for customers, all, all type of things. So that was a great exposure. And uh, I got other promotions within that environment where I became like the senior knock engineer, uh, where we were interviewed by the network engineers themselves. So all that actually happened. And eventually that uh, led me to actually be a network engineer. And then from there, I was a senior network engineer within basically a year later. This was basically at the time I became a, um, a CCIE. And I was in this position for, for a while. And then I became a senior backbone engineer. And this was basically when I was working for the Department of Energy for Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory and managing their 10,000 user campus. And then basically from there, um, I did not have any plans of going into management. I don't like meetings. I like to get my hands dirty. I like technology. So the only logical thing to do next. Because for me personally, being a senior backbone engineer was the one thing that I always wanted to achieve because I love networking and this is a very high prestigious title to get. And I got that experience. So from there, I got into consulting, um, network consulting, but also doing um, network architecture for clients from my own business that I wanted to do. So these are the actual job titles that I have gone through over my 15 year um, period. And what you can also look at for how you can gauge your kind of path for being a network engineer and moving up, getting more responsibilities along the way. Okay, so those are the job titles of what you should be looking for or those type of combinations. That's what's really important. Because when it comes to job titles, I've seen a lot of weird titles out there. Now, I mentioned this before in a different episode, but you remember from one, of my, uh, from one of my own job titles, it was a senior backbone engineer. Well, the official title that I had in that environment was a senior network scientist. Yes, scientists like chemistry and physics, math. I'm not a scientist, and but that but that environment was very centric on scientists, nuclear scientists. You know, it was a it was a scientific environment. So, and these were basically HR people coming up with these titles, and I was looking at this, and I was telling my colleagues there when I was hired, this is a this is a backbone engineering position, right? And my colleagues were looking, going, "Yes, we know, but it's just HR with no IT experience coming up with job titles." So that's why you got to keep that in mind of not looking for the exact titles, but looking for some of those combinations, because it could be HR coming up with these job titles with zero IT experience. Just keep that in mind, okay? And we are finished with this episode and we got a lot more questions that I want to cover and those will be new episodes that I have scheduled. So as usual, I want to always hear from you guys. So ask your questions below in the comments. You can also send an email, you can tweet, Facebook, Tumblr. We have all of the particular connections for social media and those are listed in the description. So post your comments post your questions about anything that you have about something in the networking field or networking related. And your question will come up in a future episode. 
So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. That would mean a lot to us. You can check out a lot of our practical training that we have at routehub.net. And I will see you guys next time.